thank you, CFT. And uh, hello, everyone. So last year, I was co-program director of the specialization open banking and platforms. And I literally spent months working with dozens of experts on creating the online course. So five minutes is definitely a challenge, but I'll try to meet it. So first, open banking is a lot of things. Regulations such as open banking or PhD2, technologies such as API or cloud. But for my presentation today, I will focus on three areas which I find really important. First, open banking as the catalyst for the business model of platforms. Secondly, how it changes the user experience, what we call embedded finance. And finally, how open banking lowers the barrier to entry for new entrants in finance. In terms of business models, platforms and digital platforms are really transforming all industries. So instead of having companies that are vertically integrated, we now have companies that connect people together. For example, Uber that connects drivers to riders or Airbnb or Facebook. In the digital world, this is extremely powerful and helps companies to hyperscale, which is why amongst the 10 largest companies in the world, five now use a business model of platform. This is now also the case in finance. 10 years ago, the 10 largest financial institutions were all banks. Today, there are five banks and five that leverage on platforms. Visa, MasterCard, Ants Group, PayPal, and Tencent. So platforms are conquering the world and finance too. From there, the race to build the dominant finance platforms is definitely on. You might remember that in January 2020, Visa announced the acquisition of Plaid for $5 billion. The objective, to advance a strategy of network of networks thanks to the open banking infrastructure of Plaid. A year later, the deal was scrapped. The official explanation was the lawsuit from the Department of Justice. Uh, of Justice. However, I think there's another explanation that was actually seller's remorse with Plaid thinking that they might have sold a bit too low. Four months later, Plaid actually raised money at a valuation of $13 billion, 2.5 times more than the Visa deal. But Visa didn't stay idle and bought one of Plaid's competitor, Tink, for $2.2 billion. We are talking about billions of dollars and that shows the importance to have a head start in owning the first platform. In platforms, more than other areas, there's really a winner-takes-all advantage. Thirdly, one of the first real platforms in, uh, in consumer finance was acquired. It was one year ago, and that was Credit Karma acquired by Intuit for $8 billion. Credit Karma follows the model of Google, but in finance. Google provides a free service to users and makes money by helping advertisers target users. Credit Karma provides free credit score and in exchange helps credit card and mortgage providers market to these clients. The result, 100 million clients in a few years and a multi-billion dollar acquisition. Finally, the benefit of open banking for users is embedded finance or what I'd like to call invisible finance. In practice, it means that financial services will be embedded into our day-to-day -day activities, but also that many companies will be integrating fintech directly in their business model. Good example is Booking.com, which announced this summer the launch of their fintech unit with 400 people to integrate payments for their users and partners. And so finally, what is the future of open banking? We can only guess, but in a previous life, I was in telecom and I see open banking as the iPhone moment of the industry. What, did, what the iPhone did was to build a huge business for Apple, but much more than that, it gave the platform for millions of app developers to build their own business and to become hugely successful. Open banking does the same and facilitates the creation of fintech businesses. So in the same way that we saw WhatsApp acquire 500 million clients in four years and be acquired by Facebook for $19 billion, it is very likely that we will see startups leveraging on open banking to become very big, very quickly. So thank you very much.
and back to you, CFT.